Hello friends, hope you all are doing good. So in this particular session, we are going to create uh, AWS account alias and this is uh, the very important things and we must create uh, when we first create an AWS account for the simplicity. So we are going to discuss how to create and what is the difficulty if you will not create um, that alias. Okay, and we are going to also discuss about the $500 uh, that uh, I received in my account through by the AWS uh, Community Builder program. So we are going to discuss uh, on that uh, particular aspect as well because this particular um, $500 which credited in my account we can use in uh, several services that I listed in this particular screen. So this is very beneficial because uh, you don't know that the, all the things not comes into the free tier and sometimes you miss to use that particular so service because uh, they are chargeable and due to that you are just lacking uh, that particular knowledge on that particular service. Theoretical part is not enough for to understand all the services you have to take and you have to use it. And due to uh, there is a cost associated and that's why we ignore that particular uh, uh, features to dig on. Uh, so this particular program will provide you the $500 credit when you get ignored. And I will make a separate video on that how we can be, you can be a part of AWS Community Builder. So what is the steps that you have to follow? Okay, to be a part of uh, you get selected on the AWS Community Builder program. So let's get started on this particular. Uh, scenario. So uh, let's understand this scenario that uh, you have you search in the um, AWS, you have the account, okay, you have the root uh, user also, and you created an IAM user also. So first click on the IAM user, okay. So when you click on the IAM user, it will asking you to provide the 12 digit account uh, number, and you this is very hard to remember. So there is another aspect that you have the account alias as well, you can pass it as well. So, but you didn't create it. You create, you have the root user because when you create an AWS account, you are the new root user, okay? And you created a user for all the administrative work, and you provided the role as an administrator to that user so that they can work on each of the services, okay? In that case, you have to create an alias. Uh, you can understand. You can provide a short name for that particular. 12 uh, big digit number that you can't remember so you provide a unique name uh, as per uh, your uh, convenience so uh, it, it is very beneficial uh, to not remember the 12 digit account uh, account number so i'm going to log in with the root user okay uh, just going to show you now i'm going to pass the password So currently, I am uh, lo get logged in with the, my root user. So you can see that the root user, the name is uh, here. Now I go to the IAM, and in this screen, you can find that I created one user named DevOps. Okay, and when I go back, you can find that this is my account number. Okay, so if we go by another login uh, going to through the another users uh, for the login you have to uh, click on this particular link and this when you copy it let me log out i copied that link and paste it in the browser you will find that the 12 digit number which is the uh, prefix of that particular link get uh, listed here and and then you provide the username here and the credential so each time when you log in with a uh, IAM user, you have to remember that 12 digit. And that is very hard to remember. So you can see that I log in with an IAM user. Now I'm going to sign out with this. And again, going to the uh, login with the root user. Just click on the root user because I don't know what is the 12 digit. Uh, I forget that particular link also. I don't have save it at any, at any place. And you don't require to save it as well because if you convert that 12 digit number with the account alias it will be very easy for you and uh, we are going to look into that uh, in, the, in this video at how we can going to change it so if we first uh, identify the difficulties and now we are going to solve it 
So currently I log in with the root user and you have to pick on this particular link create. So now I am converting or make a, a AWS uh, system uh, get understand that and this particular uh, 12 digit now I am providing the alias and the alias that I am providing is uh, with you. Okay. So it's now available and save the changes. Okay, it's already exist. So in that case, I will um, provide some other. Yes. Okay, you can change the accordingly because this is uh, this must be unique. Okay, Jha with you, uh, KS. So this is the link. You can say find that the, um, the account number is converted with the alias. Okay. Uh, now, uh, if we, you can copy or you can understand Jha with you KTS, we can use for the account uh, name as alias. Okay. Now I am going to log, sign out and sign in again. Now uh, this time I don't remember the twelve digit, but I remember the Jha with you k at s okay okay this uh, i remember and uh, the username i remembered already and the password you definitely know so you can see how easy it is uh, because uh, the, uh, creating the alias if you first create an account is very beneficial so if you want to you don't remember want to remember the 12 digit uh, number you can use it with the alias okay now uh, regarding the um, the community builder program just log out and uh, log in with uh, again the root to with the root user Okay, I am with the uh, root user because uh, any types of credit that you are going with the use with the voucher, you have to log in with the root user and then apply that that particular things. Okay, so if you go to the billing dashboard and go to the credit, you can find that uh, I already added uh, uh, this voucher which have five hundred dollar credit. Okay, and uh, this particular link provide you all the list of services uh, that you can avail. Of free of cost. Okay, I also listed in the PPT that I shown you in the initial of the session, and you can find all the service. Almost all the service is listed, and you can um, use that particular amount for to build any types of project for the community, and you can show it. And it's very very beneficial for you guys. So I must prefer that you can uh, try to get uh, listed in the um, AWS Community Builder program because uh, that that have uh, a very good advantage for the community that you can support to the community as well and you can ben get benefit uh, and get the opportunity to talk, to talk with the aws member as well uh, which working on different different services and you if you have any problem with to understand with the services you can raise a questions or raise a ticket to just understand uh, how this particular um, services is working or you, if you find any types of defects, you can report them as well for the rectifications. Okay, so uh, and this is the mail that I received uh, uh, on 10th of the September. Uh, so I just uh, want to highlight you guys that this particular community builder program is very beneficial, uh, and I will make a separate video on this particular subject so that you can also get enrolled for this community builder uh, program. Okay. So hope uh, you like this video and uh, gives me a thumbs up and share it with, with your friends as well. If you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please do subscribe it. This will motivate me. Thanks. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day.